Okay, um, it's been a while since I've done all five, but hopefully we'll get a good run in. Um, haven't played SMW in a while, but it should sort of be my specialty. Should sort of be my wheelhouse. It's the game I've played the most. Um, but we'll see. We're gonna start with it. Uh, yeah. Good luck, good luck. Fifteen. We get fifteen bonus points, fifteen lag points, fifteen super duper awesome amazing points. Uh, lost P speed a couple times, but that was okay, I guess. We'll see what YI3 is like. Pretty good.
Okay, not bad. We do have a couple of really, really hard levels coming up, though.
Nice. I don't get that often. Look at how close this is. These runs are never without drama. I. It is kind of frustrating as well. The amount of runs I've had, like, within one or two seconds of my PB is kind of sick, but it's just one of those things. I'm consistent. Consistently, like, okay, I guess. But I really, really want a PB. 48 would be nice. 48, 59, I would take. This is quite possibly going to come down to what is called hands, like the hand levels. So the hand levels, they're, they are a 50-50 chance each that they'll pull you in and you'll have to play them. So that means 1 in 8 times you will get 0 hands, which is really really good. And would put me like 20 seconds, maybe even 30 seconds ahead. Then 3 in 8 times you're going to get 1 hand. Which... Uh, 
would probably put me like five seconds ahead. And three net times you're gonna get two hands. Probably put me about 15 seconds behind, if not a bit more. And then one in eight times, you'll get all three hands. Which would kill the run. It would definitely kill the run. If I get three hands, I'll continue and see what like I get. Be a good marker, but you know, if that happens, I the run probably, like I say, will be 100% dead. And that's coming right up. Not a good start, honestly. Not a good start at all. Okay, well... Our fate has been sealed. The run is fucked. This is quite a fast one. If the third hand doesn't pull us in, it's... maybe salvageable, I, I don't know. But if it, it pulls us in, like I said earlier, it is dead! <laughs> one and eight. Ouch. Fucking sucks. Now I watch us get within like 10 seconds of PB after losing like 45 to RNG. Pure unluckiness. Oh, nearly got the wall jump. Goodbye time. Goodbye. See you later. Nice knowing you. Well, I barely knew you, actually. I was ahead 30 seconds after 8-2 in the last levels, and then died at the end of 8-3. So, that was the extent of knowing any form of being ahead. Although I was still ahead, but it was, you know, a tough run after that. The rest of that run was, you know, PB that I'm comparing against. The rest of that run was good. It too was a disaster in that room, but... Ah, it's too sick. I, I don't think there's anything I can do to PB, unfortunately. Like, I can PB with three hands, but not after this room. So yeah, we're gonna be 40 seconds behind. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe a little bit less. Yeah, well, one's a tricky level. Not going ideally, let's put it that way. Thank you. 
Ah! <laughs> That's kind of close. We don't want to lose Fire Flower here. Losing Fire Flower here costs like 50 seconds. It really is that much because of the Bowser fight. And just like that, I lose 50 seconds. Oh my god. Well, that's not really the way I wanted to finish this run, honestly. But, I guess we get to do the old school fight. So, old school all the way. No fireballs for me. That's so silly, I kind of disagree with that hitbox. But anyway. That's not to say, like, we'll not die on the way to Bowser or something. It's possible. It's not over yet. Can we can we get sub-50? Is that still possible? Is that still possible? I'm honestly not sure if sub-50 is possible. Not sure if it is. Oh my god, that was so fucking close. Sub 50 would be possible if we have fire. Of course. I don't know why I went over that. Old school, you say? That's not old school, that's cheating. So yeah, the bottom half of Bowser doesn't have a hitbox. That, that's why I got hit as Big Mario, but not Small Mario. So yes, you can do this strat too. Just don't get hit by the fireballs. Wow, we were actually really close to sub uh, 50. I'm kind of surprised. I can clearly save a lot of time in this split. Oh, we're just missing it. Wow, exactly one minute over a PB. Guys, we're gonna smash this. We are going to smash this run. We're gonna get sub 49. It might take a run or two. This clearly was a better run than I thought, but... Uh, I can do it. This had a death, and three hands. <laughs> like, that's already like a minute 30. SMB1 wasn't really that good either. SMB2 was actually okay. Uh, Lost Levels was... Well, it had the death in it. My, that Lost Levels, I, I could have made that like 40, 45 seconds better. Um, SMW was fine. I lost cape right before Bowser, but it only that only cost like 15 seconds. It's like that run that I did was like 20 seconds off, like optimal anyway. 
Like, I can get pretty, pretty damn close, relatively speaking, to world record in that. When compared to the other games where I, I can't even get close. I mean, in a sense, I can get kind of close in SMB1, but not really, because of the skill curve. But uh, I'm much, much, much better at SMW than any of the, the, the other games. Like, you're talking over a thousand hours in SMW compared to maybe a hundred, two hundred hours between the other games combined. That's only in a speedrunning context, though. If you're including casual, probably close. Much closer. I probably played All Stars more. It's hard to imagine playing one game more than four. But yeah, that was a fun run, I guess. GG. Thanks for watching. Maybe next time. <laughs>